welcome welcome everybody welcome back to the channel and today we're just going to do a quick little video I should have done a little while ago I uh, just haven't had the time to do it uh, so we're going to do a little bit of a walkthrough on the two Endura builds that uh, the Endura buggy builds that I did about a month ago I guess maybe two months ago um, partially uh, sponsored by uh, RC all wheel drive they did send me some parts for these uh, I, I did an intro video, I think it was a month ago, uh, for these this build, and I did two builds. Uh, so I'm going to highlight both the builds and what I did with them and, and what I put into these two builds uh, for the RC all-wheel drive stuff, and one is a little bit more advanced with some Fury Tech stuff. So just to go over the two of them, um, pretty much uh, stock radio system in this one, the, the older version, the original, the V1 version. Um, I used the C10 as a donor for that, uh, for the axles mainly, and the electronics. Uh, pretty much that's about all I used, I think, out of that rig was electronics and the axles. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'll go through that one first, and then we'll go to more of the RC all-wheel drive build. There is some RC all-wheel drive build parts in this one. I don't want to make this video long. I just figured I better do a walkthrough. Uh, not that I better. I, I should do a walkthrough of these two builds since I did do a intro video to it, and I haven't done the follow-up after I got them built. So the red one, we'll just get it out of the way. The red one is, um, it does have all RC all-wheel drive parts on it. Um, it has the Endura 66 turn red motor, the, uh, it has the, uh, like I said, the V1 electronics, I'll show you where I mounted those. Um, it does have an Endura skid plate, sorry, that is RC all-wheel drive, my mistake, that, that one was RC all-wheel drive. It does have the uh, RC all-wheel drive rear drive shaft. Uh, it is a nice drive shaft. I probably should have put it on the other one, uh, but because I had a different plan for that other one, I, I went a little different. Uh, it does have the stock plastic uh, front drive shaft in it and the plastic stock uh, axles. Uh, no overdrive in either of these axles either, over or under in the rear. I didn't put anything uh, in there. It does have... Uh, brass, 5.5-gram uh, Injura brass uh, diff covers, uh, Injura uh, steering links. Uh, I really like those links. I'm going to be ordering some more of those probably for all my other trucks. I like the round. Uh, that's the round version, not the flat version. So hopefully you guys can see that. I got the DJI Pocket right in front of me. So I uh, kind of hope that you guys are seeing that. So it does have that. I, I really like those. That is a really nice set of steering links. Uh, stock servo. Uh, it hasn't burnt out yet. It came out of the C10, so I put it back in there. I do have uh, some uh, aftermarket ones I can put in there when this one burns out. Um, it does have the Endura bead locks. These are uh, Endura... Uh, I want to say they're brass. They are brass, but they're very... Uh, they're not as heavy as I thought they would be for brass, but the truck does have some good weight uh, because of those. And I think uh, the Endura links on the bottom. So we have the Endura uh, bronze links on the bottom, and this is the C10 links. So 50 mil bottom and 58 rears, 50 front, 58 rears, 58.5 rears. So those are Endura. So there is a bit of RC RC all-wheel drive in this build. Um, the electronics are original and how I mounted those is they're right on, I decased it and let's see if I can get you guys in there. Oops, I hit the camera. I decased it and uh, coated it with uh, silicone uh, and stuck it right to basically right underneath this roof. So there is two, um, support bars that go across here underneath that the the uh, cover the plastic uh, cover sits on and screws into and I kind of mounted it let me see if you guys can see that right there so you can see that in there let me grab a pointer here so it is mounted right into there 
there we go, right in here, with the um, the hookups, the the receiver connections and everything to the rear, facing the rear of the, the rig. Um, you probably can't see it from back there, probably not. And that is how I installed that. So all that's plugged in there is the steering servo, the receiver uh, is built in, of course, and it's on the old version. Uh, this is one I'm running, I think, two or three vehicles, I think, on this one. And yeah, so that's that's what I did. And just so you know that, you can bind a whack of trucks to one radio and you don't lose that bind on that uh, vehicle. And you can actually control those two vehicles at the same time with one remote. Uh, I kind of figured that out with my scythe build, I think is on this. What? No, my scythe build is not. Uh, one of my other FureTech builds is uh, on this radio. And I tested it and I can drive both those rigs at the same time with this one radio. So that was kind of cool. I, I don't know if anyone uh, has mentioned that before, but you can do that. So I would imagine if you bind a third one, I'm not sure how many you can bind to it. I haven't tried to bind another one uh, just to the one radio. But because uh, I do have a lot of the V2s, mostly, I think most of them, I've got a deadbolt that's V1. And my Betty, of course, I think is V1. Yeah, I think the Betty is V1. And then, um, yeah, my Gladiators and Broncos. And, oh, and I do have the JK that I haven't touched. I do have an original JK, the white uh, JLU, that I have not done anything to. Nothing. It's 100% stock sitting up there waiting for either upgrades or build something into it. Yeah, so anyways, uh, like I said, I don't want to make this too long. 15 minutes, uh, I'm going to try to hit the 15 minute mark. So that's the red one. Uh, it's running on 2S because it is a stock uh, ESC and uh, receiver. So it is running on a 2S and it does have the Enduro shocks. I have mounted them at a pretty good angle all the way back on the mounting spots and I went a little bit further. Um, so you have three holes in here to mount the shocks. There's one, you can kind of see them. Hopefully you guys can see them there. There's uh, one, two, and three. Then there's this um, mount to hold down the bar that goes across where the uh, plastic cover is screwed to. So I put the shocks there because they were at a better angle there and it pulled them a little bit further and I didn't have to use so many spacers away from the chassis frame here. Good turning radius. Uh, these are the Endura... Um, these ones are the Endura, God, I can't remember, the, the uh, Swamp Stoppers. These are the Swamp Stoppers, so they're 58 by 24 millimeter tires. I really like those tires. So yeah, so kind of a good overview of that one. Pretty simple rig. I'll probably upgrade it later on. Uh, like I said, I do have that 66 turn Endura motor in there. Um, they did send me, uh, RCL Will Drive did send me a 32 turn but I don't think it'll fit in this little chassis underneath there because that, that uh, battery tray right here in the back, and I kept the interior. I wanted to be able to keep the interior in. And also, for a little trick, to get the interior out, I've been a, uh, you can pull it out the side, but if you leave the screws out of the front two uh, up here, you leave these two screws out right in the roof, then you can pop your roof, It's a bit of a pain to get because they are uh, indented in there. But you can pop your roof and then you can get a little bit better access when you need to work on it. So you can pop that out and get your, your interior out. But if you trim your interior like I did, I trimmed it a little bit on each side. Same with the other one, the green one. Uh, and then you can slide that interior back in through the, the side window and you don't have to worry about that. But I like having that up so if I need to get in there to do anything, I can. And the only lights that are on it are the, the light bar that comes with it. I didn't add any rock lights or anything to it yet. Um, I'm going to have to design or 3D print something for this little bugger. Uh, my original design was for the, ra the, the chassis rails for the uh, stock SCX24. So I'll have to find how I can get some more lighting in there. I think I'd like to get some downward light. But yeah, so that's the red one. Um, I do have a scale. We could weigh it in a. When we get done here, we'll uh, the overview of this one. We will weigh that one. This one is heavy as hell. 
This one has uh, a little bit more um, RC all-wheel drive in it. And of course, I tagged it with RC all-wheel drive and Enjura because it is a combo build. Uh, but Enjura and RC all-wheel drive were kind of the, the really the, the nice, easy to get parts here in Canada on Amazon. Uh, Nemus, Nemus is starting to come on to Amazon here in Canada. So I've been looking at, at their stuff too. Uh, it's getting more popular out there and, and I'm looking at their chassis and stuff for the SX24. So I might do one of those next. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll see what RC all-wheel drive uh, will help me out with again or if I just do my own build. Um, and possibly an 18th scale, 118th scale. Like I know there's a lot of builds in the Enduro buggy for the 18th scale TRX4M. Um, I don't have one yet. Uh, I do like the 24 scale and then I'm up to 110 and 16 scale. I don't have any 118 uh, scales. So anyways, this one is a little bit more uh, heavy duty. So we have the RC all-wheel drive straight axles and they come complete with uh, bones. They do have the, these ones are the dog bones. These are not the portals. So you can see there that the steering angle I ha can get will probably pop that bone out of there but I have turned it down a little bit because this one I have running on the FureTech Avatar uh, this one is a FureTech uh, Lizard Pro so I've got the receiver in there also that's my last one I gotta order some more of these FureTech receivers because uh, I really like the uh, FureTech Avatar it's a great little radio one hand steer no problem and you can put 10 models I think it is or 10 or 15 on this I can't remember I think it was 10 uh, different models on this one so anyways back to the build so it has the front and rear RC all-wheel drive uh, aluminum uh, axles with uh, heavy duty diff covers they're a lot more heavier duty than the ones I have on the uh, the red one um, I did have to put a purple I can't remember I think this is ramp crab yes this is ramp crab their uh, trust link uh, I had to buy purple because it's the only one they had in stock on Amazon when I was doing these builds so I, I bought it it was only like nine bucks I think nine or ten bucks and it's adjustable I can pull it do forward or back a little bit so you can go with longer upper links uh, it's kind of cool I do like that one it is totally 100% adjustable with just a couple screws up top here and it'll slide back and forth so you can angle your your axle a little bit different if you wanted to angle it back in a little bit but uh, I, I left it at I think that's pretty much the stock look um, it has um, the RC all-wheel drive transmission mounted up with the Fury Tech stinger so the little tiny stinger motor is in there I don't know if you guys can see it in there it is right there right in there so it's in there and it has the lizard pro and it has the like I said the uh, avatar receiver and I mounted those a little different in this one so the receiver is right there you can see it right here so there's your receiver and the pins on the receiver are really really long I, I'm, the next one I get, I, and if I use it in a small rig like this, well, I probably will use it in a small rig like this, is I'm going to uh, cut them down a little shorter because if you can see in there, it's kind of hard to see it, maybe right there. You can see that there's probably a quarter of an inch right there. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. You see where my uh, tweezers are? That's about a quarter of an inch of uh, uh, pins still sitting there and I have the uh, all the lights and everything hooked up to that and, and the ESC hooked up to that and they're pushed all the way on so that would save me a bit of room back here because it was very tight for me to get all the electronics in here um, I stuck the Lizard Pro right here it's right down the side here so it's uh, double-sided taped to the, the chassis on the inside uh, behind this panel so that the switch is right here. So it's easy for me to turn on and off. It's right there. 
All right, so that makes it easy for me to get to the switch. And it has, like I said, the LC, RC all-wheel drive transmission, all-metal transmission. It is noisy. Um, I did put a little bit of Cal RC grease into that transmission when I put it back together because I knew it would be a little noisy and metal to metal. We don't want metal to metal. Um, where are we on for? Oh, we're at 15 minutes already. God damn it. Uh, I was trying to keep this short, but oh well, it is what it is. Uh, Endura front and rear C10 drive shafts, Endura skid plate, and Endura high link high lift links the round version in copper uh, again they're they're pretty good uh, rc all-wheel drive did send me a set but they sent me a set of deadbolts so i didn't want to use the deadbolts just yet um, i wanted to use the c10 length so 58 in the rear 50 mil in the front well 58.5 in the rear um, and the deadbolt ones i can't remember off the top of my head what they are 40 40 something no 50 something i can't remember you guys probably know better than i do anyways so yeah so i went with those and again i do use the same endura shocks uh 48 millimeter i believe they are the 48 or 40 46 millimeter shocks and i put them in with the light springs so i get lots of articulation um, and lots of really good articulation out of this little bugger and it has the uh, Endura all brass bead locks. I really like those bead locks. They are heavier than shit. They, this truck is is really heavy, and uh, it, I, I believe it's all because of the the, the uh, brass bead locks that are on there. There is some weight there in the in the axles and stuff, but most of the weight's coming from those Endura. Uh, <clears throat> bead locks really like those i'll be ordering a few more sets of those off of amazon i think i paid 30 bucks off amazon for them nice looking uh really easy to put together and heavy 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 so yeah so that's basically that build it's got the um emax 12 gram servo of course uh, i still have a few of those around i haven't tried the ram crabs and stuff that uh, i've been hearing are pretty good uh I'll try them eventually when I run out of Emaxes. I think I have three left on the shelf. Uh, again, just the upper lights connected, uh, the light bar that comes with it. Tires are the All Terrain Endura All Terrain 58 by 24s. Also, these are nice soft tires. Also, and the nice thing about the Endura brass, I don't know if you guys can hear that. They're vented, so that's a nice feature where the RC all-wheel drive ones are not vented. Nothing coming out of those. There is good squish there. There is still good squish on those. Uh, I love the tires, but the rims are not vented. These uh, wheels are vented, so you get the... I, I do like that fact. So those are the two builds. Um, I don't know what else I can tell you about them. Uh, RC all-wheel drive was kind enough to send me a whole bunch of parts to, to put into these two builds. I really like this Enduro buggy. Uh, I, I like it more than the stock SCX24 look. Like, I, I'm a Jeep guy. I own a Jeep one-to-one, -one, uh, Jeep Gladiator, and I, I will keep my uh, SCX24 Gladiator as a Gladiator because I like the Gladiators. I have one. But uh, the Broncos, and I know I'm probably going to build some more of these in different lengths, maybe uh, do some different link, link lengths in them, maybe do a deadbolt length and see how that is. I do have a stock deadbolt sitting up on the, on the, tr the course. I've got, a, I've got two Broncos, the red and the white, or the gray Bronco sitting there. Uh, and I've got the, the Jeep JLU sitting there, all stock. Nothing done to them yet. So I think I might be ordering some more of these and uh, building some more. I do like these uh, rock buggies and I maybe will look for the clear panels so I can do my own paint and stretch one out. Maybe do a four wheel steer like my scythe. And yeah, so that's pretty much an overview of those two. If you have any uh, comments or questions about them, please uh, <clears throat> leave me a comment below. Let me know. Let me ask any questions. Let me know what your what question you have or what your thinking of these two builds and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Also in the in the description below 
Uh, I've recently uh, got a couple, uh, actually one more affiliate link for Z's uh, batteries. So if you buy their batteries direct from their U.S. website or their uh, China website, Z's.com, uh, please use my affiliate link for that. There is an affiliate link down below if you order direct from RC All Wheel Drive. Please use that. And I believe there is a link down there also for both their web pages. So those are a couple of affiliate links that I do have. And if uh, it'd be great if you could use those links when you go to both their websites, if you're buying direct from them, it would help out the channel and it goes back into putting parts into the rigs. So anyways, guys, that's the overview of the two Endura uh, Rock Bucky builds. Uh, one sponsored, mainly sponsored by RC All Wheel Drive. Thanks again to them for the parts that they sent me. Uh, I do like their stuff. Hopefully uh, we keep our partnership together and we keep working together. Uh, on some 110 scale maybe next time and some bigger stuff uh, I, a few videos back you'll see that i did the uh, their new cyber wheels they did send me uh, a set of those for the 1.0 set i put them on my scythe uh, i think i showed that on the video that i did and they sent me a 2.2 set uh, unfortunately they only sent me one set so i i cannot use them yet until i get another set so uh Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know it went a little longer than I wanted. It's like 22 minutes, so I won't go any further and blab on any longer. I'm trying to get into doing some lives. Uh, hopefully I can figure that out in the next little while, get some live streams going or at least some live builds going. Uh, I'm working on getting some, some help with that from a few other people on, on YouTube that I watch. So... Stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll do, we'll get something up in the, in the near future. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please uh, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe and share this out uh, as much as you can. And leave me a comment. And everybody, we'll see you at the next one. Everybody, stay safe. Hey, guys, just wanted to jump back in here at the end of the video. We forgot to do a weigh on these two rigs. So I got them both here. So we'll start with the red one. And the red one we are sitting at, hopefully you guys can see that, sorry about the glare, 384 grams. So that is with the RC all-wheel drive brass uh, wheels and not much else added there for weight. It does have the aluminum uh, skid and stuff, but uh, not much weight there. And the, this is the heavy one, I, I'm guessing 600 grams. Oh, I guessed way wrong. So we are, sorry about the glare, 486 grams. So that's a lot heavier with those Endura brass wheels, 486, and what was that one? 385, so quite a bit more. So yeah, I just wanted to do that because we forgot to do that in the main part of the video. So I thought I'd just jump in, do that again. So there we go, three, 486 for the uh, Fear Tech one, which is quite a bit, and again, 385 grams for the Mimi Endura slash RC all-wheel drive build. Anyways, guys, thanks. Cheers. See you at the next one.